Many footballers are seen as role models and sweethearts of millions of people all around the world. This is why a lot of people are usually shocked when they find out that their favourite footballers are involved in some sort of sexual misconduct or another. Here in this video, we'll be looking at five footballers who have been accused of rape at one point or the other. It's important to mention that we are not declaring any of the footballers in this list guilty or not. We're just giving you a list of players who have been accused. Number 1. Neymar Jr. Neymar is one of the biggest stars in world football at the moment, and in 2019, he was accused of rape by Najila Trindade. Você foi de fato vítima de estupro por parte do jogador Neymar? Ou foi uma relação sexual consentida? Foi vítima de estupro. The allegations against him caused him to lose many endorsement deals and investments. According to Najila, the Brazilian superstar flew her from Brazil to a hotel in Paris. And there, he got drunk and forced himself on her without her consent. He said she was initially shaken and scared to speak up because of Neymar's status and fame, but she eventually got herself to speak up when she landed back in Sao Paulo, where she reported the case to the police. Neymar was then charged. Neymar was so shaken by the accusations that he went on a very long Instagram live video providing evidence and trying to vindicate himself. In the process, he released a video of some of the happenings in the hotel as well as some raunchy texts they had exchanged prior to the rendezvous in Paris. And after much investigation, they recommended to the prosecutor to immediately drop the case because of a lack of sufficient evidence to support her case. The case was eventually dropped. Then, after some time, Najila was charged with slander, fraud and extortion by the Brazilian police. The next people on our list, one of whom was once Neymar's fierce rival, were also able to clear their names and had their charges dropped. Number 2. Karim Benzema and Frank Ribéry the French superstars were accused of rape and charged by the French police in 2014. In this case, the issue was not them having sex without consent, but having sex with a minor who could not consent. Zahir Dahar, the woman in question, was 16 and 17 years old when she first met Benzema and Ribéry respectively. And since the age of consent in France is 15, them having sex with Zahir at the time was not the problem. The problem was that teenage Zahir was a prostitute. And it was illegal to solicit a prostitute who was less than 18 years old. So, on those grounds, the two footballers were charged with rape. But they made their case that they didn't know that Zahia was underage at the time. The case dragged out for a little while until the pair were eventually acquitted by the Criminal Court of Paris because they didn't know that the prostitute was underage. Number 3. Benjamin Mendy on the 26th of August 2021, the 27-year-old Manchester City left-back was charged with four counts of rape and one count of sexual assault by the Cheshire Constabulary. According to reports, these charges are in relation to alleged offences against two different women and a female minor under the age of 18. These alleged offences occurred between October 2020 and August 2021. Now, the charges relate to three complainants over the age of 16 and are alleged to have taken place between October 2020 and August 2021. The case is still developing and there isn't much information about it and absolutely no information about who the alleged victims are. Anyway, Benjamin has been refused bail and is being remanded in custody in the meantime. He appeared in court on the 10th of September and is to appear again on the 15th of November. The French defender has since been suspended by Manchester City. It's unsure how this case will unfold. Will Mendy be found innocent and acquitted or will he be found guilty and have to face jail time? At this point, we can't tell. But here is a footballer who was charged with rape and actually got imprisoned for it. Number 4. Ched Evans 
The Welshman who once played for Manchester City was accused of raping a 19-year-old woman in 2011. According to reports, the woman was too drunk to consent, but the footballer still had his way with her at a hotel. He was indicated in May 2011 and was convicted on the 20th of April the following year and was sentenced to five years imprisonment. But even while in prison, Chad maintained his innocence. In November 2013, he decided to make another shot at clearing his name, this time with a new legal team. In October 2014, after serving half of his sentence, the former city man was released on license. Then, in 2015, he submitted new evidence to the Criminal Case Review Commission. After a 10-month-long investigation, the case was referred to the Court of Appeal. The retrial began on the 4th of October 2016, and just 10 days later, Ched Evans was found not guilty. Evening, the footballer Ched Evans says he is overwhelmed with relief after being found not guilty of raping a 19-year-old woman. In 2019, Evans was offered an £800,000 settlement by the legal firm which represented him at his first trial. He accepted the offer. He then later got back to football and now plays for Preston North End. Because of the stigma, Ched found it pretty difficult to get a club to sign him after his release. Some clubs were not even interested in talking to him. And for some that wanted to sign him, the fans did not want him. Number 5. Cristiano Ronaldo To wrap up this list, we have one of the greatest footballers ever, Cristiano Ronaldo. In 2005, before he became the superstar he currently is, he was investigated by the British Crown Prosecution Service. Two women accused him of rape, but in a matter of days they withdrew their allegations. The Scotland Yard later released a statement saying that there was not enough evidence for the Portuguese star to be prosecuted. In 2017, another case arose and it was reported that CR7 was being investigated by the Las Vegas Police Department in the US for an alleged rape which happened in 2009. Ronaldo and his legal team released a statement denying all accusations and saying that it was all just a big intentional defamation campaign. Cristiano and his team insisted that some parts of the story were altered, while some other parts were just completely fabricated. However, some documents which were discovered and were confirmed by Cristiano's lawyers state that the Man United star paid a woman $375,000 in a non-disclosure settlement. Anyway, in July 2019, the Las Vegas prosecutors came out to say that the sexual assault allegations could not be proven beyond reasonable doubt, so had to be dismissed. Rape is such a preposterous act and should be totally shunned and discouraged by every human being. And we also encourage victims of rape to always speak up, no matter how difficult it is, so that the horrible perpetrators can face the full wrath of the law. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you already haven't. Also, turn on the bell notification so you don't miss any of our amazing content. Catch you in the next video. Bye.